Multicolor printing is actually really simple. In this video, I will go through the steps to make this an easy project for you. First, you need a real good set of positives. And I'm going to show you these positives close up. Positives can be created in CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator. And those two competing companies have very similar programs. They even use the same icons in many cases. Or Adobe Photoshop, which is a halftone type program, as opposed to Adobe Illustrator and Corel are what they call vector-based, that is you have solid colors, like the American flag is a solid red stripe and a white stripe. Those are vector-based, that's the Corel Draw type print. If you're doing text, say the name of something across a shirt, that would be a Corel Draw type thing. On the other hand, if the image was shaded and it's in dots, large dots being a darker color, small, same color, but smaller dots being a lighter color, then that would probably be done in Photoshop, although CorelDRAW has somewhat of that capability. However, for four color process, six color simulated process, the premier program is Adobe Photoshop. In any event, let's go look now at the positives because that's a good starting point. Here are four positives taped together using the registration marks that are produced in the computer program. Now the computer programs do not really have good registration marks so the best thing is to create your own registration marks, save them in the program and then apply them to your artwork. And these registration marks allow you to get these pauses back together. You can see as I peel them off each one has the registration marks. So we tape the four together that way we have the spacing from one side to the other when we go to put this in the screen. The positives have now been taped to the screen registration guide. We have a separate video on how to make the screen registration guide. This will take you about 10 minutes and is free. So you just use materials that you have available. What the screen registration guide does for you is it gets the image exactly in the right place in the screen. So when you go to set up the job, you don't have the experience of the image being too high, low, or crooked. The image will be exactly where you want it if you make a screen registration guide. Now let's look at this close up. The screen registration guide has a vertical center line and a horizontal center line. And when you watch the video on how this is made, you'll understand why those are there. But what it does for you, you can see that the image is one, two, three blocks to the left of center and one, two, three to the right of center. So the image is going to be perfectly centered on the screen and we have lined it up on the center line right there so the image will be straight. It's perfect. Now the next thing is each of those positives are independently scotch taped down to the screen registration guide. So we will be able to pick them up one by one and attach them to the back of a screen. And the way we're going to do that is with double st uh, stick scotch tape. So let's go to that step. Next, we put one inch strips of double stick scotch tape in each of the four corners of the top positive. And the reason we do this is that shortly, I'm going to lay the screen over this screen registration guide and pick the top positive up off the pile. And of course, because of the double stick scotch tape, the positive will be exactly in the correct position. So let's do that. The Newman frame is pushed up against the two bars that are on two edges of the screen registration guide. And now I'm just going to push the mesh against the double stick scotch tape to make sure I have good contact and then I'll be able to pick the screen up with the positive on the back of the screen. The scotch tape that I was using to hold the positive to the screen registration guide has to be removed. And this screen is now ready for exposure. The screens have been made and are drying now and we're setting up the press. The job is to print onesies for newborn children 
and we have a special platen here and it's designed specifically for onesies and you can see the platen is mounted on a column and uh, can be removed in fact this tabletop press is designed for many different types of attachments so we can do pockets, sleeves, jackets, shirts, caps, whatever just by removing the attachment where you see the bolts right here so and you'll also notice perhaps on the platen there's a strip of material there that's double tape because we don't use spray adhesive and what that is it's a thin plastic sheet with adhesive on both sides so we never use spray spray causes cancer makes a mess of your shop it's just horrible so we don't want to do that we don't want to use liquid because you have to replace them so quickly but this double tape is good for about 12 to 1400 prints and of course you can see I only have a small piece on there because the image area is small and I do not want to be fighting adhesives on the rest of the platen. So we're set up to get the screens in registration in the press. The first thing we have to do is draw the center lines on the platen. These lines are drawn in double tape which is an adhesive material in lieu of spray adhesive and uh, we draw right over the double tape which was used in a prior job. Second, we lay a sheet of 1 8 inch thick plexiglass on the platen. The double tape, which is adhesive, will hold the uh, plexiglass in place. This way we're not laying our nice clean positives on adhesive and we do not have to clean the platen up before we go to another job. The reason we use 1 8 is the press has been adjusted so the screen will lay flush on the plexiglass and the color arm will be resting on that white off contact bolt. So when we remove the plexiglass, the screen will be above the platen by 1 8 of an inch. Then when we slide the onesie on the platen, we'll have a true off contact of 1 32nd of an inch because the onesie is about 3 32nds of an inch thick. Now we're going to put the positive on the plexiglass using those center lines that we drew previously.